Hi. Do you guys want to know what gay looks like? It looks like this. This. These two gay queers right here. And this. You're gay and disgusting. Stop. Now, can we just take a pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the LGBT flag of the United Queer Nation. One community under Ellie DeGeneres and lesbian, bisexual, and pansexual for all. Now, let's please have a moment of silence. Anyway, please ignore that, the, the last parts, okay? I was just being stupid, I don't know. But anyway, let's get down to business. Like I said in my last video, you can watch that. I said I was going to be introducing some queer core music bands, and that's exactly what we're about to do. I'm gonna need my glasses for this because we're about to get real, okay? The first band that I'll be introducing is one of the older bands. It was um, formed in 1998. It is called Le Tourist. It's a hardcore punk band. And if you're not familiar with hardcore punk, it's like it says in the name, it's really hardcore. It's, uh, it's sometimes hard to understand what you're saying, so it's good to look up lyrics and listen to the song. Um, me, myself, I'm not really a big fan of hardcore punk, but it isn't. Not, it's not like I dislike the genre of punk, but I've listened to their whole album and I recommend listening to their album called Discography. Um, it's pretty good. I loved it. Um, if you don't want to listen to their whole um, album, you can, I recommend the songs Man to Man, No Choice, and one of their most popular songs, The Best Queers. Um, they're a really good band. If you really like and if you, if you really want to open your mind to punk music and your game, then yeah. Limpers is pretty awesome. Yeah. The second band that I'm going to be introducing is one of my favorites. Um, they are called Power Bottom. Um, they are an American duo that was formed in 2013. It has it pays the members of Liv Bruce and Ben Hopkins. Like, oh my gosh, I love them so much. I can't even pick which member I like. Don't ask me, but I can um, tell you my favorite songs by them, which is I Wanna Be a Boy, Ugly Shares, which is one of the names of their album, and West Texas and Derek Green. Like, it's awesome. Like the guitar the guitar like part and like Ugly Cherries is like, oh my god, it's beautiful, like, if you're a punk fan, you'll like Power Bottom, because it's like, oh, it's like, oh my gosh, I just can't. I actually really wanted to see where they were going for tour, um, but they canceled it for some reason, I forgot why, but yeah. Okay, so basically I'm sorry this video was so short. Um, I will be doing like a part two or something later on. Uh, maybe, maybe next Thursday. I'm going to be in Chicago next Thursday. Um, so I'm probably just going to either do that or vlog. Um, but the last band I'm going to be introducing is an all-female group called The Bitchies. Um, now this band has disbanded. It was formed in 1998 by Purpose, but they disbanded in 2005. But they, um, reunited. Um, in 2010 and performed with the Indigo Girls. Now I'm not really familiar with the Indigo Girls. I don't know if they're a um, queer core band or not, but I know they collab with them. I might probably specify that in the next video. Um, but the members contain um, Kaya Wilson, Melissa York, and Allison Martlou. And oh my gosh, you guys have to listen to She's So Lovely, Send Me You, and um, Make Your Life, because it's basically amazing. Like, Make Your Life will make you, but you know, like, so much better me. And yeah, if you're a person who has a girlfriend and that is queer, you just, like, you can, like, dedicate that song to her. Like, She's So Lovely is, like, a love song. 
you like filming a dedicated song to you and be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna live like Mary Mimi. I have no one. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, I, I really want to do a part two to this because I love discovering new bands. And yeah. Please make sure to follow all the LGBT Saviors Instagram and Twitter's accounts and everything else um, in ours, all together ours, and I changed my social media to Team Punk Trash because I am Team Punk Trash, and yeah, I gotta see you next Thursday, and stay gay. That was the most gayest thing I've ever seen.